This is a candy with over 10,000 layers. It's called Dragon's Beard Candy, and it's a traditional Chinese sweet that's made by pulling sugar into thousands of strands. <laughs> Start with two cups of sugar to our pan, half as much water, a tablespoon of vinegar, and finally a couple tablespoons of glucose syrup, since corn syrup is hard to get here in the UK. And we'll just give that a mix to combine everything. And lastly, we're gonna use a thermocouple to keep an eye on the temperature, because we're looking to reach exactly around 270 degrees Fahrenheit. Now our sugar mix is cooking away, grab some water and a brush and start wetting down the edges. This will help it stop crystallizing, which will make later on much easier. So we've just reached our temperature, so we'll take our sugar off the heat. And in the meantime, let's prepare some corn flour by pouring it out onto this tray. So instead of a donut mold that I've seen a few people use, we've got this stone slab because I'm hoping that this will give us a quicker, more consistent cooling temperature. So let's pour our sugar out onto our surface. Look at that. We'll let it cool for a minute before we start working with it. So we can see our sugar is cooling down super quickly. It's still a little hot, but you can see there is our ball of sugar. So now that it's cooled down enough, we've got to start working it into our first ring. And the way we're gonna close that off is just by pressing it together, like so. Now it's really important at these first stages that you get it as even as possible. So at this point, we're about big enough to do our second loop. So let's dip it into our corn flour here. This helps stop it stick to itself as we go, obviously. So there we go. Just take the excess off, perfect. Right, so let's twist our first loop and we'll even that out, there we go. And we'll take these two and turn it into four, just like so. Now we'll take our four and turn it into eight. Eight gets turned into 16. 16 becomes 32. 64, 128. So you can see they're becoming smaller and smaller and smaller. What's crazy about this is because it's doubling each time, it would only take 19 folds to turn it into over a million, and to turn this into over a billion would only take 30. The trick at this point is just to keep going quite slowly. You don't want to rush it, because you can tear the strands. They're small enough now. 2,048, 4,096, 8,192. So we've got one more turn before we reach our desired thickness, and it's looking really, really good. You can see all of our fibers there, looking exactly like we want. That's 16,384 strands. So we've reached our desired texture, and obviously I've seen a lot of people eat it at this point, but what we're gonna do is try it with the traditional filling. So we just got to stretch this out a little bit more before we snap it, and you can see it just pulls apart like so. So now we have a nice long piece. So we've cut a small piece here. We're going to fill it with some roasted peanuts and fold it over very carefully. It's best, I think, to eat this straight away because if we wait some time, the moisture in the air will get to the candies. <laughs> mm. So obviously there's a lot of sugar, but the flavor is really, really nice. The sugar goes so well with that nutty flavor. Seriously, seriously, seriously good. Mm. Honestly, this is like an easy nine out of 10 for me. I really, really, really enjoyed this. Comment what we should try next. Very cool.